<coughs> Excuse me. It's daily life. And that was a sneeze. You know, living in the last generation, you would think that there would be more anticipation and wind up and like a constant excitement and joy over God coming again and sending his son to save us from the world we live in. But living in the last generation, we also see that there's lots of attractions about us, that there's lots of distraction in this world that we take up so much of our time that we only have a certain amount of time to really pursue those things that probably we'll find were more important to be involved in than what we actually did. I hope that's not true with you. I hope daily that you seek the Lord with all your heart so you can find what really is profitable for the kingdom of God and his righteousness to be made manifest in your family as well as your friends and your neighbors because soon you won't be looking at the news about the devastation in the world but you'll be literally the news and you may be in your neighborhood devastated so because of the times we live in we should set aside the sins that we've been participating in, the distractions that we've been involved in, we should look to and know well that we don't have any time left, that there's no doubt about living in the last generation, that there is no second chances to meet with someone today and to share with them Jesus in a personal way because you will not have a tomorrow to tell them about God's love. We know that we have passed from death unto life. He that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God has not life. He which establishes us with you in Christ and hath anointed us is God who has also sealed us and given us the earnest of his spirit in our hearts. Hereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then we have confidence toward God. We know that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. You has he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins, quickened together with Christ, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Find time to really evaluate whether you're bringing your life to God daily in a personal way with no one around and admitting your own faults so that if the opportunity presents itself that you can ask for help from others of your faith and of your intimate circle of friends that would pray for you and care for you, then confess your faults to one another, but first, spend the time alone with God so that you would know and you would say out loud the sins that easily trip you up and cause you to fall. The time is short. We don't have much time to waste. Thou wilt show me the path of life. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I have set before you the way of life and the way of death. I will teach you the good and the right way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Follow me. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. 
a highway shall there be, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those, the wayfaring man, though fools shall not err therein. Then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. This place that you live in, your body, is not your home. For me, thank God, I was looking for a nose job. But the reality of what God has in store for us in preparing a place is not just a household of New Jerusalem, but a universe to uncover that is free from corruption and sin, where the violent no longer enter in, but where we find the joy of the Lord, and that love will flow like a river, and peace will manifest itself in our lives. And as we develop that now, we change the world and save those out of it, even though we may hate the sin that they're in, we can pull them and cling to them and hold them close to us as we see that the world is falling farther away from God and not turning closer towards a heavenly reality that you need to find in your heart right now to make this determination that you're so heavenly minded you're no earthly good because the earth is evil and has fallen into despair the end of the age has come what are you going to do with the time you have left